The unrest is spreading at campuses across the U.S. In several cities, police moved in to clear pro-Palestinian protest camps. Deploying pepper spray and arresting dozens who ignored repeated orders to leave. We're staying out here until they make a change, until they, until they divest. At Columbia University, the epicenter of the movement, students barricaded themselves inside an academic building Monday night. The campus is now locked down. Occupying students have been threatened with expulsion. Columbia accuses them of escalating the situation. Some Jewish students say in this environment they no longer feel safe. The rhetoric that's led to harassment and like anti-Semitic tropes has gone unchecked. Palestine will be free. At George Washington University in the heart of the U.S. Capitol, free, free, free Palestine. a sit-in reached its sixth day with no end in sight, but no sign police were planning to move in. We are very proud of our comrades at other campuses. We understand that anything we face is nothing compared to a genocide, and we're prepared to stay here until our demands are met. In the past two weeks, more than 800 people have been arrested on campuses across the U.S. The White House denounced non-peaceful efforts as the wrong approach, but said it had no plans to federalize the National Guard to quell any unrest. Student demands include that their schools sever any business or academic links to Israel, though some protesters acknowledge uncertainty over the depths of such ties. As the academic year comes to a close, the protests show little signs of easing, testing the limits of free speech. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.